What is up guys? My name is Mark Samaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. Guys, we're heading out to Indy RC World. I'm going to go check out the 10 scale RC Pro 10 scale finals. I know I'm in middle of the EB4 10.2 conversion build, but I think that this is a good time to actually go to a 10 scale race. So we're going to go out there, check it out. Uh, but that's not the only reason why we're going out there. The other reason is my wife, her family are coming over and they're making tamales. So I want to get out of that kitchen because I don't want anything to do with that. So let's head out there and we'll see what it's like or what it's like. Weird. All right, it's my cheat day, so me and my boy are going to get some to eat, but <laughs> we don't know what we're going to eat. I, I'm not sure. I don't, I'm, I'm kind of torn between lanes because I've never went to, I've never been to lanes before. Apparently it's like Raising Cane's or in and out What are you thinking? I have had in and out forever. I want to try lanes. You want to try lanes? Yeah. All right, lanes it is. So we're taking a little pit stop in lanes. Go get some food and then we'll be off to Indy. I didn't get any special. I didn't get any special sauce. All right, guys. So basically, it tastes exactly like Cane's. So while I was in there, I did a little bit of chicken chicken strip research, and apparently Lanes came out before Cane's, but there was a couple or Zaxby's. They came out before Lanes, but there's actually another company called or another place called Guthrie's that came out before all of them. So it was Guthrie's, Zaxby's, Lane's, and then Raising Cane's. That's the order in which this chicken finger fiasco came out. But they all taste the same, so. All right, so we made it. I don't know if we're here too late or not. People are leaving. I don't know if they're going out for dinner or what, but we are here at NDRC World. Rookies, 6.7 and third in your spec slash cat class. Shaw running fourth. This guy working hard. Griffin leading your two-wheel drive short course class. Swafford, 19 back in second. Two down. Three <laughs> Using all the blacks from yesterday. Those are nice. Quite a few people here. All right, so here's the car I'm building, guys. The 410.2. Man, I can't wait to get mine done. Did you do anything to yours after uh, you built it out of the box? No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> box stock. Let's go check out Tyler's. Here's Mr. Tyler Hooks' his car. Oh man, it looks the same. This top plate looks a little different. Very nice. The keel is here. He's on the tone, or on on the tone. Check out his car. Very clean. They're saucing it up with some PB blaster. What kind of PB blaster? Regular. Regular. I didn't know it came in different flavors. <laughs> Different colors, right? I think Trevor's holding his car up just so I can get it. No, we're in the next race. <laughs> I'm joking. Actually, I'm gonna follow you guys. Can you handle the pressure, Tyler? All right, we're gonna follow Tyler on the. Car. All right, it's about to be ten, ten scale two wheel drive buggy. Everybody's final lap. Finish the lap drive. Sorry, sir. Shaw, you're done. Coleman, you're done. Garcia, you're done. Right now, it looks like it's two wheel drive. Two-wheel drive short course. Swafford, you're done. Royston, you're done. Everybody's done. Royston takes to win at the spec slash pass cars. And finishes second to Shaw. Ooh, it's third. Keevan Sharp. Two-wheel drive short course platform. Finishes in second. That's four-wheel drive buggy. Right, we're going to squeeze Thanks in here. Thanks, guys. We're getting out. Appreciate it. Right, right beside the hooks. Is this going to bother you if I record right here, dude? Actually, we might, we might even record your car. Everybody else is check in. 10 scale two wheel drive buggy. This is what the real drivers drive. It's super hard to drive these things. Not really super hard. They actually handle a lot better than you would think. The car we're following right now is Mr. Tyler Hooks. I feel like I'm. Hold on a little bit. I'm going to face I feel like I'm obligated to follow him since he is my team manager and all. Oh. If I had to guess who a TQ is, I don't know. I got to see who else is on the track. 
So I think these guys, y'all running six fives, Tyler? 10-5? He has a 10-5. 7-5. When I ran it, I ran 6-5, but I think that might be too much. This is mod. Alright, let's, let's find Tyler. Alright, Tyler's a little... Tyler's the yellow one in the middle of these two cars. And this is Tyler Keel. Tyler's really fast in 10 scale. I don't know which Tyler is faster, actually. Oh, nice pass. So he's running a different line than Hooks. He goes on the outside whoops. See, here's the problem with 10 scale, and this is why I hated it. See, you can kind of cut the tension with a butter knife and 10 scale like there is no room for error in this damn class not even a little bit like if I'm re recording an a scale class these guys are talking to me we're shooting the shit not in 10 scale man I'm, I'm a tight three, line right there Woo! Those lines are tight Okay, so Hooks is ahead of Peel. I don't know who they said was in first. I didn't hear it. Oh, the intensity. All right, so this is four-wheel drive 13.5. So we're gonna follow James Titus around track because he is running the EB410.2. Oh, sorry, Edwin. All right, so here we go. The race has already started. James Titus is on the clock. That blue car right behind him is Edwin Ortiz. And we'll turn a good racer once in a while. You gotta watch him. Oh, oh no, oh no. He oh, he landed right in the marshal's hands. <laughs> he got super lucky on that one. No, that was planned. What's up with the uh, the squeaking noise? You got you some eating out drives or something? Is that nice? Maybe, I don't know. No, but the car is legit. Dude. It looks legit. The shock package on it? I love that thing. You're running it stock? Yeah, box stock. Good, that's what I'm building mine as. Look at you cutting your lines, dude. It's almost it's like you've been doing this for a while. Good, bro. Try to see if you can catch up with Edwin. So Titus is in the front. Let's see if he gets nervous since they called his name. He's in the front with, with that wreck. Edwin, let me know if the camera's in your way, bud. Sorry, dude. Edwin's still slow, it's okay. Edwin's like not even talking to me, man. He's like so serious right now. I think he's mad because of all the tortilla jokes I made on on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got so lucky. You jumped over somebody. Maybe I'll get you to run your main today. Today. I'm trying. Oh, oh no. Down to go. Over there. Top three. Yeah, just so you guys know, I'm faster than Titus, so my car would be going just a little bit faster than James's car on the track. <laughs> that messed him up. Who's Preston and why is he beating you? He's not beating you. Why are you, uh, why are you going so wide? Come on, Joel! <laughs> Joel court diamond people and stuff. <laughs> ah, balls. See? That's what happens when you have too much fun in this class. Start making mistakes. Just joking. You want to have fun. That's why we're doing this. Oh! Very nice. You don't two and a half down, two and a half to go. Halfway there. James Titus out on that 14 pace. 4.7 up on Cole Preston. Nathan Brooks just 1.4 back in third. Keith West three and a half back in fourth. Obrama seven tenths back in fifth. Ortiz four and a half back in sixth. That's 
all changed up now. Rodriguez is in six. Correos on seven cars at eight. The Columbus down to nine. Fleming and ten. Freaking awesome. I can't wait to get my running. So your top five now is Titus Preston, Brooks West, and Ortiz. Is Three the down, box setup is so legit. Like I'm copying the box uh, the setup box. Everything, huh? Really? Yeah. Uh, what motor are you running? You're running the Hobby Wing. Uh, yeah. G2 is what it called. Oh. Ah. Oh man, T. We're G10, talking to him. G3 or something. Like Did you get TQ in round one? Uh, yes, in round one. Round oh, there two. goes someone, Martin. So you need this one then? Yeah. And you're talking to me right now. Oh, okay. Good talk, bud. All right. I'm gonna stop recording the 13.5s uh, and then we'll go to the mods. You'll start to see the mods aren't that much faster than 13.5s. So this is mod wheeler. That means no motor limit, four wheel drive, 10 scale buggy. We're following a Mr. Tyler Keel right now. He's really good at four wheel buggy. Maybe not as good as me, but he's pretty good. <laughs> He was two seconds back, but with that little bobble over there. Let me put him four seconds. What motor are you running in yours, Tyler? 5.5. Five. So he's running a 5.5 five in his. Good God. Four down, one to go, one better man. Race pop, this is race eight, winding down race nine. He won on the short course drive. Share your cars on and ready to go. Oops, can out front. In your E2 model wheeler class, 2.4 a day, killed. Yeah, they, they do look faster than 13.5s for sure. Big air, 7.3 back in 5.3 back in 6, French holding down 7. 40 seconds remaining on the race clock drivers. Woo! Sent it on that one. Uh oh. Keel's feeling it. He didn't lose too much time there, though. Oh, there you go. Looked like he was going a little high on that wall, but it went, he went back down on that one. Can't even see his car on that one corner. He's got to trust it. He's got to trust it. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That was a good corner. Oops, you're done. Got a little wide there. Hey, Mary, you're done. Super cool. Yeah, I'm not going to run mod. I'll run 13.5. Maybe I'll run mod later. Another beautiful sunset here in Texas. We're in Garland, Texas right now. Beautiful. Oh, my son, my son just got just got punked by a little kid to give him candy. That was nice of you, Evan, to give him candy. Anyways, that is the RC Pro Series Finals, 10 scale finals. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be running probably four wheel drive, 13.5. Maybe going to mod, I don't know. We'll see, but Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later guys.